wild ride for the Sycamores that started way back in June. With the Sycamores now just one win away from an NIT championship, Jack Burney has a recap of this year's season. The 2023-2024 season for Indiana State basketball has been one for the record books. From highlight reel dunks, to three Holman Center sellouts. This season had a little bit of everything. From the start of summer conditioning, head coach Josh Schertz knew this team had the chance to do something special. The goal is every year to have a group that can uh, is going to be in the fight to win a championship. We have a group that has the talent and depth to be in the fight to win a championship. I don't think there's any, you know, any question about that, and that, that's what you want to go into a season feeling like. The Sycamores came out of the gate strong at 11-1, taking a 10-game winning streak into a December rematch of the 1979 National Championship game against Michigan State. Despite coming up short against the Spartans, ISU put the Valley and Nation on notice with their strong performance. We played them on their home floor in front of a sellout in a, in a great environment, and I didn't think we were, you know, put our necessarily our best foot forward, and we were up five with 10 and a half minutes to play. We got to clean up some things. This line is as high a line as we'll play this year. What a line I mean is like how good you got to be to win this kind of game against this quality opponent. Um, and we got to figure out why we weren't able to get to that line, and then we got to go back and, you know, move that needle so if we do get a shot through up the valley and then obviously hopefully later on here in a couple months um, we're ready to meet this kind of line because this is the kind of game you gotta you know win in March if you're gonna you know have uh, ultimate success and meet the line they did getting off to a 13 and one start to Missouri Valley Conference play including two thrilling wins in front of sold out Holman Center crowds against conference favorites Bradley and Drake the atmosphere was amazing you know shout out to the fans you know they they helped us through the win, you know, without them, you know, it'd be a different game, but the fans are credited to this win, you know, with their energy and their their vibe of the whole game was just amazing, you know. I, I appreciate them doing for what they did for us today. The 22-3 and three start to the season resulted in another first for Indiana State, their first time being ranked since 1979 when Larry Bird donned the blue and white. It's a great honor, I told uh the team this, you know, I don't want to gloss over it. I do want them to appreciate, you know, what they've been able to accomplish as a group at this point. And uh, to break in the top 25 is incredibly difficult at this level. Um, so to get there first time in 45 years, um, it's a testament to the hard work and everything that they've sacrificed and poured into this season. Despite a couple of losses after being ranked, Coach Schertz rallied the troops and the Sycamores won their final four games of the regular season to clinch a Missouri Valley Conference title for the first time since 2000. It's an awesome experience, you know, it's a lot of fun, you know, I think it's like Shirt said, something that we'll never forget, you know, to be able to go through this uh, and to be able to kind of, you know, do it, what we've been thinking about, you know, obviously, you know, coming here, you know, I envisioned of winning championships and stuff like that. And so for us to kind of, you know, finally get it done, you know, in year two, you know, it's just been awesome. After rolling through the first two rounds of Arch Madness in St. Louis, the Sycamores roared back from an 18 point deficit in the Missouri Valley Conference Championship game before ultimately coming up just four points short of an NCAA tournament bid against Drake. Definitely hurts. Uh... These are my brothers, and, you know, I, I genuinely, like, love being around them. And, uh, you know, I wanted to win it just for all of us, you know, the city of Terre Haute, just for everybody. But, you know, especially, like, my teammates, coaches, I feel like, you know, we deserve this win. And, you know, we put so much time and work in, and, you know, it definitely hurts just to come up short. So, Despite being one of the first four teams left out of March Madness, Coach Schertz and crew remain motivated. Now they get ready for Hinkle Fieldhouse and the chance to win the first NIT title in school history. This group, you know, I've said all year, like, their superpower is how much they care. How much they care about each other, how much they care about winning, how much they care about their performance, how much they care about these fans, how much they care about every, how much they care about Indiana State. I mean, that's, that's a superpower because they don't want this to end.